for Ringwood Master will start on the outside of the front row. Luke Williams and Dave Collins. Darren Baldwin and Janelle Savile. Your front three rows. The defending champion will go from eighth. And Anstutz has gone oh, nowhere. No. Oh, do you reckon he's okay? And that was a yellow for the start, or has Anstutz got issues? Clearly been Dr. Rowe. He'll move back. You've had a big day, mate. Justin Paul on his outside. No question, Brad Anstis got rolling right there. So clearly no issues with the car for Anstis and Williams. And Justin Paul goes side by side. Justin Paul prevails on the outside. And he'll lead lap number two. Well, the start of lap number two. Down the back straightaway this time, Anstis goes upstairs and gets rocking and rolling to the 64. Dave Collins runs fourth back to Darren Baldwin in fifth position. Came from nowhere to be up to P3 and was side by side for the league, Gavin. Luke Williams having a big run. Justin Paul, we th thought was picture perfect. Paul swings back to the inside. They run deep into turn number one. Luke Williams comes back at him. They trade the lead. This is getting willing. It's a long race, but they're wheel to wheel. Justin Paul, six laps in, 19 to run. Luke Williams maintains that second position and Parks is going at it now. There could be a run. return. They're still not done with yet. Could be a return serve in coming here. Luke Williams just muscles his way back to the inside. He tries to stick the low line. There's third and fourth. The defending champion runs third right now. Paul now starting just to find his rhythm. Luke Williams for mine could well be the quickest car on track again as he ranges up on the inside and will go by just like that. Three tenths of a second he led that lap. Word here. Yeah, talking that Luke Williams might have a left front tyre going down. Well, it's interesting not to down see. or going down. It is down right now. It's a long way for you and I to see the officials that saw it on the main straight. Yeah, that Wow, it is well and truly flat. And he's giving this signal to the officials. What do you want me to do about it? It's only my left front. Oh. So. I thought Brad was going to tackle me to the ground there for a moment. Did you see that? And it's off the bead. Yep. It's off the bead. That's why it's been told to retire. You're allowed to run with a flat left front at Chief Stewart's discretion if it hasn't broken the bead. But that's why they've pulled him to the infield here. And he is F-I-L-T-H-Y -T -H right now. Yeah, disappointing way to finish. He had a very fast race car. Luke Williams is out. Justin Paul goes back to the front. So the New South Wales one picks up and will now try to take on the Queensland champion. Oh, wow. And here we go. The Queensland champion finds himself back in this, goes to the inside. Q1 versus N1. Justin Paul fights back on the outside. We've got a race to the front here, Gavin. No question. Andrew Parks knows how to keep the momentum. So too does Darren Baldwin. Matt Reed in fourth. Justin Paul took a little while to get rolling. His opening corner maybe wasn't as clean or as fast as he would have hoped, but he's rolling now. Seven laps to run. Justin Paul, the Victorian, trying to win the Queensland Compact Speedcar Championship here tonight at High Tech Oils, Toowoomba Speedway. He leads the lap, six to run. Justin Paul, Matt Reed, Andrew Parks. I tell you one thing for nothing, Jared Ash. He is Hall in the mail. Matt Reed will be your new race leader. Look at the 46 car. Holy smokes, Matt Reed. Absolutely shot out of a cannon. Oh, the yellows are on. And did we get enough cars across the line? Was that lap complete, Gavin? Him. But are they fast enough to make a move? A little hopful off the bottom, Matt. Reed's still your leader, but Parks goes through to second. Look at Baldwin. Upstairs now on Justin Paul. Darren Baldwin. If Toby was still here, we'd be pumped up. He's a taxi racer. He's these days in an open wheeler and Darren Baldwin goes to third of the Queensland Compact Speed Car title. Gee, that's getting close. What a great battle for third place. No doubt about Matt Reed. The 46 is your race leader with two to run. Andrew Parks, the defending event winner. 
would love to hold on to the number one, but he needs to get busy. Paul fires back in turn number three. Nothing doing for third. The white flag is out. There's one to run. The Queensland Compact Speed Car Championship is on the line. Matt Reed looks like he'll work into turn number three and four for the final time. Comes back, or does he? Oh, it's a drag race to the line, and Andrew Parks will steal it. Oh, oh. by 15, one thousand of a second, Andrew Parks will go back to back. Are oh. you kidding me? What a grandstand finish. Matt and Reed just had to come off turn number four cleanly, and he could not do it. Oh. Andrew Parks will go on to a back-to-back -back Queensland Championship by 15 one thousandths of a second. Yeah. Have a look at this left rear. This is a contact when they're three wide across the line for the Queensland Compact Speed Car Championship. 0.015 seconds. Andrew, we're going to do our full presentation in a moment, but do you ever think you're going to hang on to your title that way? Nah, mate, to be honest, after that first seat, I thought we will bugger, to be honest, come out win the second and have a race like that, mate. That was bloody awesome. We'll let you get this thing down here. We'll do some post-race with these guys. We're going to run our wingless sprints feature race before we do our compact speed car podium. But what a race that was for the compacts. Wingless sprints, king of the ring out right now. We'll crank some tunes before the final event of the night.